Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorokin. Welcome back to Grounded. So last time we crafted this awesome shelter, so finally we can call this place our base. We have lots of awesome things inside. We have lots of chests. So I think we are ready to go and explore some new places. So we are gonna go somewhere where I haven't been yet, and that is this upper yard. And from all the rumors that I've heard, this is going to be a very tough place as there are lots of strong bugs. So I'm super excited to go and visit that place. But before we do this, I think we need to get one more awesome weapon. Last time we've also gotten this epic mint mace. It's very strong but it has fresh damage, but there are some other weapons that do solve damage. If I'm not mistaken, there's some sort of a Morningstar weapon, so I'd love to get it, but to get it, we need to go all the way to that sandbox. So hey, let's equip our Natural Explorer because recently it's gotten a buff, so we should be able to run a bit faster. I mean, just look at us. <laughs> it is indeed faster. And speaking of things that are fast, we could also perhaps craft these aphid slippers. If I'm not mistaken, they're gonna make you faster as well. So I've just hunt down both of these aphids, so let's craft this thing. It's the first time when I'm gonna equip these shoes. All geared up. And how fast am I? I'm definitely way faster. I mean, just look at us. We are literally flying now. This is how we are running with these aphid shoes. And let's sort of remove them and let's put back our own shin guards. And this is how we run with these shin guards. Definitely these aphid shoes make us way, way faster. Just look at that. All right, so that's how we're going to get to that sandbox. Let's equip our nice shin guards. This is and hey, while we're sliding down, smash that like button on the video if you'd like to see more grounded videos because I am loving this game. I can't wait to play more of it. I can't wait to get to that upper yard here. I can't wait to find these new enemies. Let's get rid of this natural explorer and let's get the fresh defense. With that stuff, we'll be able to get some treasure. And if I'm not mistaken, somewhere here, we're going to get some sort of a key. And with that key, we'll unlock another yeah, recipe. Yeah, it might be a bit hot here. All right, there's already a little bit of treasure here. There we go. Let's dig this thing out. All right, let's take our busting tool. Let's get those things. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight any of those things. Ant lions, right? All right, let's stop the sizzling here. Wait, what these ant lions are vulnerable to? I don't even know. Well, I'm going to assume that they're vulnerable to fresh deep and stuff. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's going to appear somewhere else. She lost 50% of health. All right, just block. Perfect block. All right. Let's deal with those ant line schmucks. All right. It's gonna dig. All right. Perfect block, baby. Okay, it's almost dead. Oh, that's it. I got it. I got one of those ant lines. That is epic. We've gotten three ant line parts. And plus, I'm sizzling like crazy. Soon we'll start losing health. We are losing lots of health here. Hide behind this thing. There we go. Let's restore that sizzling. Let's eat some of that meat just to restore some health. All right, and somewhere around this place, as I said, we should find that treasure. Where is it? All right, there's some sort of a treasure here-ish. There we go, here. Is that going to be the key? Well, it doesn't really look like that's not the key. That's just a soul shard. All right, so I just fought one more ant lion, and somewhere here, there is some more treasure. Okay, so that's just another one of those mints. Kind of don't want a mint, but thank you, I'll take it. I'm not going to say no to this mint. Oh, there we go. There, that's where we got to dig, just in the middle of the shovel. Is that it? That's got to be the key. I'm like 99% certain. They go 100% certain that that's the key. There we go. Let's dig this key out fully. Let's take it. Melted moat key. And now all we have to do is find some sort of a sand castle, which is probably there, right? And around that sand castle, we have to have a chest. And in that chest, we're going to get that recipe for the salt morning star. There we go. There's the castle. How will I exit this place? I don't have a slightest clue. What I am sure is that around this place, there's got to be a chest, baby. Where is it? Nope. That's just some big brain science. I'll go and get it. There we go. I see a chest, ladies and gents. It is behind the sand castle. There we go. Hopefully that is the chest. And I'm 99% certain that that's where we're going to get that recipe. There we go. Let's use the melted moat key. Let's get some of that milk molar. And there we go. We've gotten some sort of a recipe. And no detailing how to make a particularly deadly weapon. Lovely. That's what we wanted. <laughs> that's what we came here for. We've also dug a little bit of that treasure. And now we know how to craft that salt morning star. So let's go to the crafting recipes. And there we go. To craft this level three salt morning star weapon, we need to get 10 tough gunk, which we have zero plus. We need to get five gum nuggets. So I'll start keeping my eye on that gum. And once we get here to the upper yard, I think that's where we're going to get a bunch of that tough gunk. So hey, soon we'll be able to get that salt morning star weapon. And actually, check this out. Ladybird larva has weakness to fresh and stabbing, but this 
antlion has weakness slashing and salty and it has a resistance to fresh so using this mint mace on that antlion is kind of stupid so perhaps let's get this antlion there go the dude is almost dead they go and attack me avoided that again out of stamina got him somehow some way we're gonna get some of the antlion parts. We've gotten three antlion parts and some antlion pincers. So maybe this guy had more health because he's like in the middle. He's like maybe some sort of a mini boss. Maybe not even mini boss, like micro nano boss. But I, I wanna go here. <sighs> more of those schmucks are coming through. I'm gonna just keep blocking. Yeah, this guy definitely has way less health. Go and attack me, please. Do your thing. All right, these basic ant lines are way easier than the other one. There we go, let's block it. I don't have lots of stamina. So once you block, it's not that hard. There we go, let's get some more of those parts. We have 11 of those ant line parts in total. And here we can get some, perhaps, treasure now. Let's get all of that stuff. So maybe it's worth it to deal with those ant lions. I didn't even know that it's possible. I didn't know that you can fight those ant lions in the middle that throw ants at you. You can get here a little bit of sturdy marble and you can get some of these ice mint caps. It was definitely worth it to come here. So there we go. Let's get those things. I still don't think we have enough items to craft this entire antlion armor, but who knows? All right, so we are back home. Finally, let's take here some sort of a nap. And also off camera, I've built this bed here. If you can't really see it, there we go. Boom. There's our bed. So finally, let's sleep properly instead of sleeping on a ground <laughs> in some sort of a tiny tent. And it looks like we can actually almost craft this entire antlion armor. We can craft this antlion poncho. We can craft these antlion spurs. The only thing that I can't craft is the antlion white brim because I don't have one more boiling gland. So I guess you know what that means. Wait, first of all, it means that we're going to eat some weevil tonight. <laughs> let's get that weevil. And let's go in our resource detector and let's search for some of those boiling glands. Where are they? All right, and this thing bug attacked me out of nowhere, but luckily we have this crossbow. And we can deal with this dude quite easily. I've also equipped the gas mask to deal with this guy even faster. I don't have a slightest clue how much better that antlion armor is going to be. But it's not that expensive, so I think we should craft it. And also these bombardier beetles have weakness to fresh. So let's get our brand new mint mace. And let's try to deal with our first ever bombardier beetle with this new mace. Is it any good? Look at this, we almost destroyed this entire bumper deer beetle just with one shot. All we have to do is just do this entire combo and that's it. Have we gotten a boiling gland? Yes, indeed, we've gotten one boiling gland. That's all we needed, time to get back to the base. And I really don't want to part my waist with this armor, but I guess it is what it is. So hey, let's craft this antlion white brim. Let's craft the antlion poncho and let's craft these antlion spurs. There we go. Would be cool to know how much resistance do we actually have. But hey, let's equip this brand new armor. Is it any better? Is it any worse? I don't have a slightest clue. <laughs> but we have it. But this ladybug armor, once it was upgraded to level 8, we had some increased healing. We also had some more block strength, so maybe it was better. But we could also go and upgrade this armor a tiny bit, no? We could upgrade it at least to, like, level... Five, perhaps. There we go. Let's get it to level five. Let's try to get the poncho to level five if I can, except I cannot even do it because we don't have enough brittle platings. Oh, we actually have lots of those brittle marble shards, so let's use them. And let's upgrade all of our antlion armor at least to level five. There we go. Level three, four, level five. And now let's upgrade these shins to level five. We just don't have any more brittle platings. Well, we can fix that. There we go. Let's get some more of those brittle platings. Let's craft them here on this workbench. And let's upgrade now these shins to level 5. So, I mean, now it should be a bit stronger. There we go. This is the antlion brim. And that was the ladybug armor. Probably it should be better. Well, I've just crafted another chest. And here we're going to store some armor. So, I'm going to keep this ladybug armor here. And it also looks like we have a decent amount of those sturdy platings. And we can only use two of those sturdy platings to go from 25% defense to 35%. Which I think is going to be very worth it. So, let's get it to level 6. We're going to be choosing the path bulky. Because because I don't really care about the decreased thirst rate. Let's get another bulky path. And let's upgrade now these shins. There we go. Now we have much more protection. We could maybe even go to level 7 to have 45% defense. But I think for now it's alright. But I think it's about time we started going into that upper yard. But to do that we'll have to find a way on how to climb there. And I think we're going to climb by using roofs. And to build those roofs, we got to get a few clovers. So let's jump out a few of those clovers. And before we leave this base and before we go to that upper yard, we have a few of those milk molars. So I think let's get some more active mutations. Let's use four of those teeth. Ready. 
There we go. And I still have a few of those mega milk molars. I think it would be nice to increase my consumable stacks from 5 to 10. That might be important later in the future. All of these ants keep coming to my base. I really don't like that. Look at that. They're all coming here to steal my food that I'm cooking or something. I don't understand. All right, but trying to get to that place, I've just found another one of those bombardier beetles. So I might as well just try to get it with this brand new armor. It's almost dead. There we go. We got them. Got them. Like, it's so easy to get these bombardier beetles with this mint mace. So once you match the right type of weapon to the right type of bug, it becomes much easier in fighting them. So I don't really know if that's the smartest thing, but let's try to get to that place from the very corner of the map as I've already built here some stairs. All right, so somewhere here we've just picked up a little bit of pollen. I have no idea what can we do with it, but apparently I've never had it in this game. So, hey, let's take it. All right, so from somewhere over here, we're gonna get to this shed. What would be awesome if I found a way to build zip lines? All right, we got this roly-poly and this mid mason. They're resistant. Uh, they're, they have a weakness to that stuff. All right, there we go. Blocked it perfectly. Perfect block, baby. Oh no, couldn't block it. Couldn't block it. These roly polies don't even allow me to do my full combo here. Oh, there we go, blocked it perfectly. What I would also love to do is to restore my health. All right, all I have to do is just get a little bit of damage to this dude. Roly poly just flipped over. That's it. We got it. We got this roly poly. It's definitely a bit easier to fight it with this mitten mace. Plus, we've gotten three tough gunk. That is nice because we're going to get that salt morning star. So, we still need around like seven or something extra tough gunk. So, somewhere here, I'll start building. I have no idea if I'll be able to get to the top with the resources that we have, but I'll try. All right. So, let's start building this thing. There we go. One, two, three and we need to build many more of those things it's also night now so let's take here a quick nap all right so let's have a snack in the morning let's eat some grab meat let's get some water except i have no idea where's that water found it there we go we have lots of water all right so i've just found another huge husk of weed so i think that should be enough to build those stairs all right so what else do we need to do perhaps just normal flat roof that should suffice. Let's add this. We need to get more weed stems and some more clovers. All right, so we're almost done building this place. And I don't think it's going to be a perfect way for us to get to that upper yard. But I think it'll be good enough. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. We made it. We are now on the upper yard. So we are around this place. Except what we have to do. So let's say this is our base. We got to go all the way there, there, and here. And only now we get to that upper yard. So that's a bit tricky. But I think it is worth it. So it doesn't matter. Now, let's find that shed... So somewhere here, we have to find that Wendell's scabby. Let's get that scabby. Perhaps we'll maybe unlock some new things. Oh, that's a new Having ladybird. A little peep. That's a definitely new ladybird. Got a new one. Oh, ladybird. That's not a ladybug. I just wanted to call her a ladybug. I didn't know why I called her even ladybird. Absolutely have no idea. Because they're a ladybird larvas. That's why. So its weakness is busting and fresh. Okay. Weak points legs. We just came here to the upper yard and we already found some new enemies. <laughs> All right, lots of cool loot there. Wait, are they even peaceful? It looks like... Oh no, those ladybirds are not gonna be peaceful. Look at this dude. I don't couldn't block it. It even sounds weird. All right, couldn't block it. Look at my health. Couldn't block it again. Now, there we go. At least now I've gotten a perfect block. Die, schmuck. There we go, our first ever ladybird tough gunk. We've gotten four tough gunks and plus uh, ladybird parts, ladybird shells. This is great. This is awesome. Except what's not awesome is our health because we've Rub lost time. a lot of it. But I still think it was worth it for us to come to this place. We're going to get a bunch of tough gunk. We already have here eight tough gunk just for killing two enemies. Like, that's crazy. I'm going to use one more of those bandages. And I would even love to craft a base in this place because this is like the hardest place on the map. So I think it would be cool to live here. I have no idea. All right, there's a spoon. <laughs> this is literally a fork, Cyric. Oh, is that a spoon? This is a knife, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Let's get the salt clusters. That is something. Except how do I get to the top? Let's get all of those resources. So it's kind of fun. I love what this game does. You have to progress little by little. And the more you progress, the more resources you unlock. I uh, know I like it. I'm loving this game. The more I play, the more I'm enjoying it. Let's, go. Let's get a little bit of that salt. There's nothing else we can get here. And that shed is still somewhere there. There's, there's also a bicycle. 
Excuse me? Can I touch it? Can I hit it, perhaps? Alright, can I hit it on the metal? It's kind of cool that you have two different sound effects. Look at this. The rubber has that sound effect and metal has that sound effect. The future is now another roly-poly. Uh, kind of don't want to fight it. Can't really go any higher. All right, let's go to quest. Locate Wendell Scabby by his favorite chair near the shed. So let's search for that chair. Again, the good old roly-poly. Is that a normal roly-poly or a sickly roly-poly? Because you might be like, oh, sorry, what's the difference? Sickly roly-poly has weakness to spicy, but it's resistant to fresh. But normal roly-poly is weak to everything. So that's kind of interesting, kind of weird. Lots of things to remember. Look at this. There's another ladybird there. And this is so fun to explore this place. Like, everything is new. Are these mushrooms different? Can I even eat them? I wouldn't try to eat those mushrooms, though. <laughs> This is a level 2 mushroom, it says. What can I even get for it? Uh, mushroom chunk. That's a new thing. I've never had it before. Alright, obviously spiders coming out of nowhere. Don't really want to fight those spiders. Those wolf spiders. Sturdy quartzite. That's worth it. Definitely have to take this one as I see this. We gotta pick that stuff up. I also want to know what those wolf spiders are vulnerable to. Probably to salt. So we need to get the salt morning star or whatever that weapon is called. Because look at these. These wolf spiders have weakness to spicy and resistance fresh. Okay, cool. So we need to get a uh, spicy weapon and for that we need to get the uh, Coltana. Not a Katana, but a Coltana. We will get it. Alright, so the shed is somewhere here. I still don't see the chair, though. Where is the chair? Hello, hello. It's kind of cool to be so tiny and uh, look for things. There are both of those ladybirds. Don't even want to try to fight them. I mean, I can fight probably one and one with that ladybird, but both of them at the same time. I don't think I'm ready yet. Oh, wow. We could jump down there. Kind of don't want to do it. Let's find a way on how to get to the top. Every time I see this yellow grass, I know that there will be some stink bugs. Probably here we can even find uh, stronger bugs. I still haven't seen a single huge beetle. Ox beetle? I don't know how they're called. All I know is that they'll be very, very, very strong. Probably the strongest enemies in the game, not considering some bosses. All right, let's go over here. All right, this entire place is, uh, is littered with loot. I could jump down there, but how am I gonna exit it? I kind of don't want to jump down there. It's as if we just unlocked a brand new game. I mean, we've never been here before. So many new things. It is lovely. Whatever. Let's go on top of this plank. And let's see if we have that chair here. Just some wood. There's an axe. Look at this axe, dude. This is cool. I didn't even know that it's possible to get this close. Oh, there's another field station. Okay, that's lovely. I should not have done that. Probably shouldn't have dropped to this field station. Oh, there's another cassette here. All of these eyes. The eyes. They are always watching. The backyard is watching. Okay. Strange noises, stranger occurrences, coincidences. Oh, I think not. Or is it my mind playing tricks on me? I, I, I feel the senility at the edges of my thoughts. I have grown so old. Uh, just the other day, I found my tape recorder laying out that I knew I had put away. Perfect. I would not have been so careless, and yet there it was. Could it have been purple? No. No, 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 no. Such a conspiracy would be beyond his capabilities. Something darker is afoot. Ominent, perhaps. I knew it might be too great a risk to liberate that equipment from them. Whatever it is, it is always watching. Ominent. Surely. But how could they know? I took such precautions, and yet... Okay. Burgle, execute end-of-day procedures. Wait. Ignore that. I will see to it myself. It may be time for me to find a new venue for my research. Away from all these eyes. So there's like some sort of a company named Ominent and they're looking at him. That's basically what it said. There's the termite colony, probably. Have I gotten some termite parts? I don't know if I picked them up. Oh, yes, indeed, I have gotten those termite parts. And I've also analyzed those termites. Termite worker. Resistance, slashing, and spicy weakness. Stabbing and salty. Okay, so we were supposed to use a salty weapon, but I don't have it. What are these ants? Black soldier ant. Wait, have I haven't discovered that yet? And maybe I'll have to go back and fight these termites. I will probably do that, but hey, before we do this, we got one of those sturdy marbles. Because with these sturdy marbles, we either upgrade armor or weapons, and I don't know which one of those is which. We have a bunch of those acid glands in the base, so I totally don't need that. 
Let's pick it up. Okay, nothing fits. I could perhaps delete this ladybug head. There we go. Let's delete this and some ladybug parts. It's... We, we have those things at the base. There are lots of those ladybugs around our base, so we'll survive without them for now. Bro, we have here another one of those cassettes. Maybe I can get to the top by going on top of the bicycle. Maybe that is doable. I have no idea how we'll do that, though. I should be able to jump up. There we go. We can't jump up and somehow, some way, we can get to the top with this bicycle. Uh, Sam Squanch dirt bike. Probably just butchered it, but hey. We are here. There we go. There's the chair! This is Wendell's favorite chair. Now we have to find that scabby. How does everything look from the top? Kind of blurry-ish. I <laughs> see basically nothing. Alright, whatever. Let's find the Wendell scabby. Hello, Wendell. Don't want to jump down. Is it on top of the chair or behind the chair? Do these worker ants ever get a day off? Why do these worker ants even attack me? Have I... Have Kevin, I inspected I them? You. What are they even resistant to? Flash. Come back, schmuck. There go one of those ants and another one of those ants. No, we're just getting black ant parts. So those are simple basic ants. Nothing too crazy. Well, whatever. I've gotten some more of those black ant parts. I've just deleted that. Because we don't have space, I'd rather bring something useful here. Alright, and let's find a way on how to get to the top. Where there's some sort of a... What is this? Dust mite. And they're vulnerable to stabbing and fresh. Okay. Oh, look at this dust mite. So strong. It has lots of health. Uh-oh. Look at all my health going down. They've definitely nerfed the crossbow. Now you use more... Energy on that stuff. Let's get this. And let's get him. Look at my health. I don't even know. Maybe I need to get like a gas mask or something for those dust mites. I don't have a slightest clue. What if I get fresh weapon? Would that get them faster? Doubt it. Doubt it. I need a first bandage. There we go. Let's get that first aid kit. I don't see anything. These schmucks. Disgusting dirty dust mites. But all I know that I need their loot. So I might as well just get them real quick. There we go, got another dust mite. And I don't remember what they're vulnerable to again. Fresh and stabbing. Okay, so we could use this this tool then. There we go, got one. Let's get another one of those. Oh no, soldier ain't is coming out of nowhere. I can hear it. It's behind me. My health is kind of low as well. Alright, we could perhaps eat this thing. Just like a food pounder. To restore some health. Stupid dust mites, they're so disgusting. There we go, got it. Are we done? No, there are more of those mites. I think now we're done though. There we go, let's get that dust mite fuzz. Oh no. The black ants behind me as well. Alright, let's deal with that black ant. Perhaps I should have been using this weapon. Would have been better. Alright, so let's deal now with this black soldier ant. And with another dust mite. How many of them are here? This is... This is actually stupid. Why did I even pick a fight with them? Next time I'll just avoid them. But I just wanted to get some of that mite fuzz. So now let's pick all of this stuff up. Do they keep respawning? Probably. They're gonna see more of that mite fuzz. I'll pick them up. I'll get all of my arrows back. And I'm gonna see dial from this place and I'll keep searching for Wendell's scabby. Also, I'm a little bit thirsty, so let's drink some water. There we Tastes go, I definitely good. took that with me. Let's take a sip of water. And it doesn't really look like Wendell's scabby's here. It's on that side there. How do I reach it? I have no idea. Maybe we gotta run on top of that baseball bat. I just wanna go here. Maybe there'll be a way to climb on top of it. There we go, there is indeed a way to get on top of it. Can I go up here? I should be able to get here. What even is this place, though? I don't like it. Does anybody live here? Hello? It seems like I'm not supposed to be here, but yet I am. <laughs> yet here I am. Orchid Mantis Kebab. What? We can summon a boss here. We need Orchid Mantis Kebab, and then we'll be able to summon some sort of a boss, it says. Okay. Cool, I don't see any other loot, but whatever. I'm also gonna climb on top of these scissors and see what we can find in this pot. Uh, oh, we can get these, but for that... Oh, it's spiky burr. 
I have no idea what is that. The iconic spiky ball that lives atop many prickly weeds. Whatever, I'll pick that up. I don't know what we can do with it, but I'll take it. We're gonna get so many new resources. I'll probably have to delete all of my old resources here in the inventory because there's no way I'll be able to bring all of that stuff back to the base. Soon it will be night and I still can't get there unless we gotta climb on top of this baseball bat. If his scabby is even there because I can't see anything. All right, there's gotta be something. We are getting closer. Ooh, music has even changed. What on earth is this place? I like this donut. Donut, we need to have a level three axe, dude. I'd love it. I'd, I'd even bite it right now. There's some sort of a battery. How about I go on top of this battery? I don't want to touch it, but I totally want to look around. I want to see what this place has to offer. There's something else on that side. I don't know what that is. Gonna have a look around. Um, I still have no idea what that is. Another battery, perhaps? Looks like that's another battery there. Seems cool, buddy. Now let's go to the top. Let's go. Let's climb this baseball bat. Please tell me it'll be possible. There we go, that is possible. We don't have to build any weird stairs. That's lovely. So let's see if this chair is gonna have Wendell's scabby. Oh no, look at all of these ants! Don't tell me I gotta fight all of them. Because I kindly refuse to believe that. I do have to find all of them. Like, literally every single one of them. Do I need that hot Cheetos candy? Take it! I don't have space even for those hot Cheetos. Well, there is a hammer. Let's go over here. And I think I see that scabby. Just gotta make a jump for it. That's got- no, that's not the scabby. It's some sour lump. Can I get to that thing? Yes, we did it. So what do we have here? Some sort of a pipe. Full-sized scabby. You discovered- wait, we've gotten a new scabby here? Was it here? Nail clipper. What? Ew. Look at this. <laughs> Look at these nails. For that, we need a level three tool and I can't get it yet. I can't get those nails. All right. So to get that hammer, we need a level three tool. But it said that I've discovered a scab. Is it here? Wait, I just want to put a marker. Where is it? Oh, there. There we go. There's the marker. It's huge. A sour wormhole. I can't use it because we don't have a level three hammer. So we definitely have to get it. So I can't even bust it open because I don't have a level three hammer. Who would have thought? Well, now at least we know what we have to do. We need to find those ox beetles or whatever they're called. Except I don't have a slightest clue where they are. Oh, there's the chewing gum. I'd love to get that chewing gum. Well, if I land on it, I'll get it. All right. Let's go here. Now I'll need to get the shovel. We should be able to get that chewing gum. All I need to do is just get rid of some items that we absolutely don't need. And there we go. Let's dig it. This is our first ever chewing gum that I'm getting. Okay. I took it. How many pieces can I even get? Did I get any pieces? I got zero pieces. Unless they fell all on the ground. Probably that's what happened. And I can't jump over that side to get big brain science. There we go. Let's get a gum nugget. Another gum nugget. And alright, let's leave this place. Let's start searching for those black beetles. Well, I don't have a lot of options. Even if I fight those Ox beetles right now, I don't think I'll be able to store any of that stuff in the inventory. Wait, there's also a dude fighting me. It's dark. I can barely see things. But let's still fight it. I don't think I can though. Let's get it. And let's deal with that ladybird larva. Well, maybe this ladybird larva is gonna drop me some more tough gunk. There we go. We got 10 tough gunk. We just don't have enough gum. And then we'll be able to build that salty weapon. All right. We also found a tooth here on the upper yard. Cool. Let's bust yeah. it. Except... Oh, no. It will fit. It will fit. It doesn't go in the inventory. So that is good. So that's very good. Let's pick it up. M -m 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 Milk molar. We got it. What are those? Uh, perhaps fire ants. No. Seven and then eight. That's gotta be something. That's not a simple end here. Firework worker. There we go. Attack me. Attack me. Attack me. I don't even know what Let's it's vulnerable to. Go restore the stamina. Come back, schmuck! I can't even whip out my crossbow because I don't have space. There we go. Got it. Finally. I got the red ant worker, but it, nothing fits again. My inventory is full. Well, there we go. We've gotten another red fire ant and I need space for it. Larva spikes. We have enough of those larva spikes at the base. There we go. Let's trash the entire stack of it. A fire ant part and there's another one of those. Fire ant head probably and I don't have space for it. <laughs> and there's absolutely nothing I can do about it because that's it. Our inventory is as 
full as it can get. There you go. There's the field station. Well, at least I've discovered another field station. So that's something. Ooh, there's some chewing gum. I can get that chewing gum here right now. Go and dig it. I have no idea who's around us, but I'm pretty certain we'll get attacked quite soon. Go on a few more attacks. Just get it. How many chewing gum pieces will I get? One. Two pieces. So we got two chewing gum pieces and to craft that new weapon that we've unlocked today, the Salty Morningstar, we need five. So I need one more chewing gum piece. We even have a different ambient track here. We can even get here rust. So yes, from what I've heard, we can craft some sort of a toenail weapon and maybe a rusty weapon. Perhaps. So those things are epic. So many things to explore. This game has just gotten from like 99 to 110 real quick. Because I can't say that this game got from 0 to 100 because it was already awesome. There you go. That's the Black Ox Beetle. That's the thing that I was talking Insects about. Keep getting bigger and bigger. Now with horns. I can't now with wait horns. to see what's next. This dude got stuck. That's good. But I want to see what it's vulnerable to the Black Ox Beetle. That's probably the strongest beetle so far that we've seen. Busty and salty. So I don't have the salty weapon. We need that morning star before I fight that guy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whatever. Let's just get out of there. Let's go back to the base. We know where those uh, black uh, beetles live. Let's go. Schmuck. Look at all of those toy soldiers. Pretty epic. There's got to be another two. Fancy sports car would be a nice reward for going through all of this. Maybe not this one, though. Well, let's go lower. Let's see what we can get here. Perhaps a tooth hidden somewhere. M -m -m mega milk molar. Oh, there we go. There is this mega tooth mega milk molar. I wasn't even kidding. Okay, cool. I got it. Plus, we have lots of loot in it. So, let's get that mega milk molar. And let's loot this vehicle. I never thought that these words are going to come out of my mouth in grounded saying, let's loot this vehicle. But hey, we are looting a vehicle. Plus, we can get so much of that sturdy quartzite. Dude, this is a gold mine. Let's take all of that. Hopefully, I'll have enough space to bring all of it. We should have enough space. There we go. One more sturdy quartzite. So those things will be used to upgrade our weapons. Like that salty morning star that we will craft. There we go. I think we've gotten everything. Except I still can't get those sour wormholes. So I'll come back later for that stuff then. All right. So now we are at our first ever laboratory in this oak laboratory. And the reason why we're here, because I won't have enough battery at our base so let's use this resource analyzer let's analyze those spiky burr things so we can craft a burr floor burr curved floor never seen that before okay cool let's learn the dust mite fuzz so we can craft fluffy pupa hat okay we also have a termite part what can we craft from those termite parts a repair glue that's obviously not it there are more things that we can craft with that termite stuff and let's learn perhaps this fire ant part Oh, I don't have any more brain power things. I've used three batteries already. Finally, home sweet home. So let's get rid of all the loot that we have here in our inventory. And that's what's so awesome about this game. This is how you have to sort out stuff. Just click and boom. All of your resources were deposited. We've even deposited some gum. So that means I already had some gum at the base. Let's deposit other resources that I haven't deposited yet. And uh, let's analyze these things. There we go. Ladybird shell. So we can craft a ladybird shield. Not sure if it's good or bad, but hey, we can do it. We've just leveled up. So we've just learned how to craft termite armor. Okay, let's learn how to craft this thing. Fire ant leg plates and little fire helm. Not sure if that's any good or bad, but hey, I've learned it. And some pollen. Let's learn that. What do we craft from pollen? Shinobi sneeze. Okay, there's still some more things to learn, but we're going to learn them a bit later. All right, so let's see if now we can craft that morning star. Let's go here and I just don't have salt globs, but hey, those salt globs should be quite easy to get. All we need for the salt glob is just some salt shards. Say, so let's get one and the second one. I think we need only two salt globs for that, right? Yes, indeed, we need only two salt globs and that's it. We're going to get ourselves a morning star. <laughs> that's a nice salty weapon. Those enemies that are vulnerable to salt, this is probably the best salty weapon in the game. So, hey, that's lovely. There we go. Finally, the salt glob things are done. Now, let's craft our first ever salty weapon in the game. Salt Morning Star. Bam. We got it, ladies and gents. We got it. Let's see how it looks like. Let's try to swing it for a bit. I don't even know where I'm going to add it. Let's add it to the sixth slot. We have so many weapons now that it's going to be hard to go outside. But I, there we go. This is how it looks like. This is how we kind of swing it. Okay, kind of cool. Kind of epic. It does a little bit of damage. But hey, let's try to upgrade it. As I said, at least to level five. Let's try to use it on these ants. We destroy those ants. 
Lovely. And let's sort of upgrade this morning star, except we need brittle whetstones, and obviously we can get a bunch of those brittle whetstones. No problems. So let's go to the brittle whetstone. We can like literally have 50 of it. So let's transform all of those brittle quartzite shards into brittle whetstones. As I said, to level five, there go one, two, three, four, and level five. And to upgrade it any further, we need to get those mighty globs. And again, mighty globs are not that easy to get us. We need a bunch of those sturdy whetstones, and I kind of don't want to waste them. So let's go all the way back to the top again. We have more grass seeds here. I'll pick them up. Apparently, I haven't explored them yet. What can I do? Basic seeds used to grow grass. So can I just throw those seeds and they'll grow? I can't even analyze those seeds. Apparently, there's nothing much we can do with it. All right, we are somehow, some way here on top of this tire. Oh, well, there's also some pine cones here. And I know that we can use this thing to build something. I don't remember what. But yeah, pine cone for that, we need a level three busting tool. And sadly, I don't have that lawn mower. Okay, we've gotten another thing. We've discovered something. Oh, this is the lawnmower. I see it. Okay, cool. It was kind of hard to see it, but there we go. That There it is. This place is so cool. Everything is so cool about it. So what on earth is this? Okay, more of that sour wormhole. That's what it is. <laughs> Haven't seen a single beetle, though. This entire place is so beautiful. Just look at it. It is so cool. This is literally the most beautiful place probably in Grounded. Like, this kind of grass here, it looks amazing. Everything looks so awesome around this I'm place. Ticked off. What are those mites? Are they... Are they dust mites? I oh, know, those are just ticks. I didn't even know that there are ticks. I need to see what they... I see you. Look at my health! They're gonna kill me. Those ticks are gonna shred me real soon if I don't heal up. There's the black ox beetle! There's my man. We got to get the salty weapon. What is it even doing? Is it crazy? The dude has got to be crazy. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This this is the strongest enemy in the game. But what about vulnerabilities? Uh, busting salty. Busty and salty. Well, let's restore my health. Except I can't even restore it fully. Well, I'll keep shooting it, kind of cheesing my way through that. But I don't have enough items anyways to kill it fully. I mean, with the crossbow, it's easier than the wolf spider in the beginning with the sprig bow. I can't do anything. I can't shoot him anymore. I have no idea where I am and I have no idea what to do. But I... All right, I blocked it. There we go. There we go, blocked it again. All right, I'm damaging it, kinda. There go, blocked it again, baby. Oh no, couldn't block it now. No, the red fire ant, that ain't cool. That's not what I signed up for. Well, let's shoot it again a little bit with a crossbow then. Okay, I think we can get it. How many shots do I have? Nine more shots. I think we can get it. As long as it doesn't run away. There we go. Our first ever Black Ox Beetle. Which was kind of cool. We fought him fair and square, right? I mean, almost fair and square. There's also this other ant here. Where is it? I want to know what it's all about. Fire Ant Soldier. What is it vulnerable to? Fire Ant Worker. Fire Ant Soldier. Weakness Fresh. Well, let's get the weapon then. And let's get it. Come here, schmuck. There we go. All we have to do is just get this combo. As with this combo, we are doing a lot of damage. There we go. We've gotten some fire ant parts, fire ant mandibles. Lovely. And those arrows were great. The crossbow was great. Everything was great. And so, hey, let's get some parts from the black ox. We've gotten black ox uh, horn parts and tough gun. <laughs> yeah, boy. This is awesome that's all i have to say it was a kind of tough ish fight but yeah with the salt morning star we can definitely fight it we can totally get it dude i'm loving this game it became just so much better oh there's one more of those schmucks do i jump lower i mean i really don't think that's a smart idea do i look like a smart guy don't think so come here schmuck okay blocked it 
There we go. Couldn't block that either. Oh no, the fire ant. If it weren't for the fire ants, everything would have been much easier. Okay, blocked it. Okay, blocked it again. Okay, couldn't block that. I'm gonna die here right now. Unless I do something about it. Okay, they can keep fighting. That's good. That's for my advantage. Let's use another one of those bandages. There's nothing I can do to heal up faster. Well, I'm gonna let them fight each other. It's fine. Am I right? It should be fine. How much health do they have? Can't even see. Is it gonna die? How much damage do they even do to that poor guy? What, one of those guys. Fire soldier and... What about this guy? Blackhawks Beetle! Dead. Get the parts. I got the parts, ladies and gents. I got him. <laughs> Stupid ants. Literally never seen more stupid ants than that. Literally zero AQ dummies. Zero AQ dummies doing my work for me. Got him, got him, got him. Dude, I'm loving this game. That's all I have to say about it. I'm loving it. All right, so I'm going to get back here on top of this donut. I'm also going to keep in mind that... Oh, wait, they're destroying something, so maybe I can let them destroy it? I don't know. Well, in any case, perhaps... There we go, let's get it. One fire ant is dead. We can get another one of them. Dude, this club is amazing. This mace is awesome. <gasps> That's an entire colony of those ants here. Let's get at least one of those ants. Now I just gotta get another one of them. That's it, the, the fire ant is dead. Got all of them, got in some more red ant mandibles, and we're gonna get here lots of those. Oh no, Supreme Quartz site, no! We gotta get that level three tool, and then we'll get it, then we'll upgrade all of our weapons. So let's get that cool stuff, it's all worth it. All of those things are very worth it. I just gotta remember where are we here on the map. Okay, so close to this kind of twig thing. So I have no idea how I got out, but I somehow some way we got out. So I think it's time for us to go back to the base and bring those new parts that we've gotten. Now let's see how many of those black ox beetles things we need. Oh, we've gotten another field station. That is lovely. Every time we get a new field station, that means we can search for those resources easily. I can even analyze those things. We don't even need to run back to the base. All right, so let's analyze the fire ant parts. Now we can craft a fire ant club. And fire ant chest plate, which I don't kind of care about that fire ant club. Fire ant head, now we can craft a fire ant helmet. And fire ant shield. We have this black ox part. So now we can craft the black ox harness, leg wraps, and a crossbow. That's what I want! We definitely need this crossbow, except again for the crossbow, I think we need a level 3 hatchet. As it's not gonna be that easy to craft it, because look at that, guys. For that, we need to get some lit rope and pine cone pieces, and I don't have that. Plus, we need rust, so yeah, we need still lots and lots of tools. But hey, at least now we can type in here probably an ox. There you go, this. And we can search for them. We have one, two, three of those black oxes. That's epic. So hey, finally, after a few years of traveling, we are back at the base. So let's go to sleep. And then let's see how to craft that new hammer. And there we go, we have one more thing to check out here. This black ox horn. Go on, we're gonna unlock that black ox hammer. There we go, plus the black ox helm. Maybe we can even craft armor out of them. I have no idea if it's gonna be stronger or worse. Again, speaking of that armor, we're gonna get only five resistance. And it's a medium armor. Five resistance for the head. 10 resistance for that. So it's it's a medium armor. It's I don't think it's better than antlion armor. It looks like it's the same. But hey, we don't care about that antlion armor and we don't care about this uh, fire ant club. What I care about is this black ox hammer. So all we need is just pupa leather. And to get it, I still haven't found it. I have no idea how does one get it. I don't have enough black ox parts. Maybe we need to get this termite axe. We need termite chompers, which I don't have, and then tough gunk. So yeah, there's still lots of things to get. We need to get like level three axe and a level three hammer. That's a fact. In any case, we've done some lots of cool and insane progress. I think maybe later on we'll even upgrade this morning start to a bit higher level, maybe to level six, level seven, because it's a really, really strong weapon. And I think I'll be using it till the end of the game. Same thing with this mint mace, but we're gonna do all of that stuff in the next episode. So subscribe to not miss that video. I cannot wait to play more grounded. It's 
such an awesome game. And I highly suggest you check out my Resident Evil 8 DLC Let's Player. Click on the second card and you'll go to my Miss Survival Let's Player. Hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to jump a subscribe button and notification bell to not miss any future videos. And consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Epicyric. Mm -hmm. Yup.